Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number 95, Unique Binary Search Trees 2. And this is the second variation of the problem. And at the end of the video, I have shared a few similar problems which have the same template that we'll be using in this problem. And if you are someone who is interested to solve this problem, do consider joining our Telegram group where we'll be discussing about these solutions. And I have mentioned the link in the description. So without further ado, let's dive into the solution. In this problem, we are given an n. In this case, n is equal to 3. What does this n mean? This means we have to generate all the possible binary search trees from 1 to n using the numbers from 1 to n. Say for example, n is equal to 3 and we have to use the numbers 1, 2 and 3 and we have to form all the binary search trees. For example, in this case, five binary trees will be possible these are the five binary search trees that will be possible just by taking one two and three right so now let's take another example where n is equal to four where n is equal to four and let's use all the three variables and how let's say how this is helpful now let's assume let's just assume for now four will be our root node and we will form all the binary trees where just 4 is our root node okay now instead of forming all the subtrees now can we just use all the 5 from the previous example right what we can do we have 4 similarly we can have 1 2 and 3 what i am doing i am just taking from the previous example and i am writing it here similarly 4 we took 1 3 and 2 we have 1 we have 3 and we have 2 similarly for the other 3 also right so what i am trying to do here is after i picked up this all we are saying is generate all the binary trees from 1 to 3 and we will be attaching it to this 4 as the left subtree why this is working this is working since 4 is greater than all the other elements now let's look at one more example where we will be forming the binary search trees but 0 1 2 3 now the same thing will go ahead but one small change that is all the trees here we attached it to the left because 4 was greater than all of them but in this case we'll be attaching all of them to the right why because all of these numbers are greater than our 0 right so the condition is same that is we are generating the subtrees by fixing a node and it will either go to the left all right now let's take one more example now let's take one more example let me erase this and let's take one more example what is that example in this case let n equals to 5 that is we'll be forming 1 2 3 4 and 5 now what is the case let us fix for now our root node let's fix 3 as our node root, root node now can we just tell generate all the binary search trees from 1 to 2 from 1 to 2 now that will be fixed on the left side now we can ask the same function to generate all the binary search trees from 4 to 5 and we can make this as the right subtree right why because 4 and 5 are greater than that and 1 and 2 are lesser than that now let's look at what are the possibility for 3 1 and 2 we have this possibility and this possibility and also we have this possibility right these are the two possibilities these are the only two possibilities now similarly for 4 and 5 there will be two possibilities but don't forget since this is let me write it 4 5 then there will be 5 and 4 since there are 4 the answer is not just 2 but every this left subtree will have two options that is once we have chosen 3 1 2 here we have two options here two options here so we have to generate these both options we should not generate just one option we should generate one option so in this case this subtree has two options and this subtree also has two options in total we'll be generating four subtrees just for this root node alone 
right so what is the idea here is we'll be fixing a root node we'll be fixing a root node and the remaining will be asking it to generate say for example we fix the root node as one so what will be the left subtree the left subtree will be null because we don't have anything lesser than one what will be the right subtree the right subtree will call the same function and we will generate all of them until two to five similarly for two we'll generate just one node on the left and from three to four similarly for three so in for a general case from one to five how many nodes do we have we have all the nodes that are starting from one two three four and five and we have to give out all these variations now if you look here very deeply there will be some cases where we will be generating the same things again and again for example two comma five this will be asked again somewhere else right so we can store this in memory for a given starting and end point we can store a list of nodes we can store a list of nodes we can store a list list of tree nodes which will have all the variations for example there are three variations so all the nodes will be stored here what are the three variations all these nodes will be stored in this list of variations so whenever we want this once again we now need not use the generate function once again but instead we will just be using from this hash map what what will this hash map contain this hash map will contain let me add one more page here so we'll have a hash map what will this hash map contain it will be a pair of the starting and the ending which will both be integers but this will be starting and ending and they will contain a list of tree nodes they will contain a list of tr tree nodes let me write for example for example in the first case we took 1 comma 3 as our example what does this mean the starting index is 1 and the index ending index is 3 and we generated all the subtrees which were 5 subtrees right so we'll be having 5 values 5 nodes here which will be the root node of all of them so this will be stored here similarly for the for other things one and two similarly there will be two nodes and so on and so on for all the other nodes. so this is how we store then what is the idea that we are using the idea that we are using is for a given range for a given range we will try all the nodes as the root node we will try all the nodes as the root nodes and we will call the same function generate function to generate the left subtree and we will call the same function to generate the right trees once we are done with that don't forget for every subtree we also have to use the right subtree say there are three on this side and three on this side so in total there will be nine possible variations of the same thing so we should generate all the nine possible variation and add it to a sub list we'll generate all of them and we'll add it to a list and finally we'll be returning the list of all the nodes right so let me dive into the pseudo code for this problem the first thing is we will be having a memory to store all already generated variations for example this contains just like we discussed one comma three this will have all the variations which is one comma three and we have our helper class what it will take it will take the starting index and the ending index as the input for example we have to generate from the range four to nine it will take four and nine as the value now we have to store all the variations that are generated in this example so for that we have a list and we have variations variable and these are the two base cases what are the base cases if the starting is greater than end in that case we'll add value and we will add null and we will just return why because just like we saw here if starting is greater than end there is no need to generate anything and we'll be returning null. similarly if our answer already contains the range for example one comma four if we have generated all these pairs already then we will just get those pairs there, there will be a list of nodes that we have already generated we will just get those nodes in this case also now we have the last or the main logic for this function what we are doing we are considering all of those nodes as the main node say for example we have one and five as the range now we will consider one as the root node and we are generating all the left subtrees and all the right subtrees okay now if we have three options on 
let's assume there are three options on left and there are three options on right so for every option on left we are going through every option on right and what we are doing we are creating a new node which will be our root node and we are attaching the left subtree and we are attaching the right subtree to the node by creating this node and finally we are adding the root node to our variations right so after all the nine options are exhausted we are out of this loop and we will be finally adding it to this dp and we will be returning the variations and that's it once we are done with this we have all the variations and from the main generate class we will be returning all the variations so once we are done with here we will be just returning this and this will return all the variation let me share similar problems we have few similar problems and this is a easier problem and these are all medium problem so do consider joining our telegram group and also do consider solving this problem happy learning have a great day thank you